Hi, Christina here. Welcome to my channel. I just figured I'd make a video like that today because, I mean, today I won't. So I filmed a bunch of blog stuff the other day, but I, it took like 18 hours to post the other video, uh, the exercise video. I know I look silly and I'm out of shape, but you know what? I'm working out and I'm on a journey, so I'm okay with looking silly. So um, uh, that was a 45-minute video, by the way, um, but it did. My battery did die, so I worked out like 15 minutes uh, longer than what you guys saw. I'm going to put some background music on. It's very, very quiet. Um, one sec. Ew, but my headphones are right there. Hmm. Okay, I have to turn them off. So let me see. Just so that it's not. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? So I was in school today. I had an exam. I'm glad it's over. Now I won't have homework for a while, at least for two weeks. I won't have any homework, and then we're gonna go to men's cuts. Um, and then maybe have some homework. But now no, I'm so happy. I'm like, oh, I don't have to stress about studying. I mean, not that I studied a lot. I did not study a lot. Um, but I I'm sure I passed. I'm sure I passed. I finished. So it was like 140 questions. And I finished in like 40 minutes. So that was passed. And then after that, we had um, salon. So for the next two weeks, we're in the salon, which means we take uh, clients, the school books clients uh, for us. And we work on our mannequins, and we have all the stuff to do. So it's going to be plenty busy. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was fun. So I had a client today, and my uh, classmate had a client, even though now we're kind of... Okay, that's rude. Commercials. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so we, yeah, we we're going to be thrown in with another class. I actually don't, I don't really have an idea with who because even there was this other girl that was supposed to start with us in January. Uh, but now I see her in a different class. So I'm not going to get attached to anybody else. I mean, my classmate and I, we're pretty, yeah, we like hang out and we're, we're pretty, we're pretty close as, um, um, as classmates. So it's, we'll be sticking together until the end anyway. Um, the other interesting thing is that I am probably going to be doing the makeup program after this course. It's about it's for it's um two and a half days and it's six months. So um, because <laughs> even though I I will be trying to get pregnant in November, I can be pregnant during the makeup course. I think it's going to be perfectly fine, and I'm just going to have to do it. So either way, um, that's going to be yeah. I'm done in November, and then I will be asking for information just to see when the other course starts and then of course um we have to arrange payments and stuff um but it's going to be exciting i would love to do makeup it'll be so much fun um and then on top of that on top of being a hairstylist i will also be a makeup artist um so that's awesome and also for a makeup artist i'm pretty sure that's it there's no other licensing to be a makeup artist uh which is amazing so i'm super excited to do that course and uh yeah maybe it'll be just like a short video today i did make a schedule like i wanted to do stuff i always do this so I make some schedule and i'm like monday's gonna be this tuesday's gonna be that so what is today oh hair school yeah all right well see i'm not set up yet i want to actually set up uh an area where i will like set up a mannequin and then i could do some like hair stuff um I guess I could talk about hair. Like, we could talk about it. Um, um, so, what was yesterday's topic? Meal prep. Nah, eh, I just did my meal prep already. Well, I can tell you guys about my meal prep really quickly. So, I, this morning, uh, sorry, yesterday evening, I had to do my meal prep. So, I made um, chicken burgers. So, I cooked two chicken burgers. And then I get, so three pizzas is about half a cup. Um, um, I didn't film my meal prep, did I? I did film my meal prep. I filmed a bunch of stuff. I'm still going to put that day together. Who cares? It's like 
a week ago. But it doesn't matter. I will have to, I have to get better at um, filming and stuff. Um, and I do realize that the camera is terrible quality, but that's what I have right now. So bear with me. I will be getting a nicer camera in the future. Um, okay, yeah. So I... In the containers, I ha I put an egg and some ch and a baby bell and some cucumbers and a bit of feta and an olive. Um, and then I had a bit of mayo as like the dip. Um, and then I made potatoes. Um, I just boil them first and then throw them with butter and salt and um, paprika and garlic powder in um, a frying pan. I fry it up a little bit. And then uh, divide that up, so half a cup in each container. So I make, I take three containers to school, which is a lot. It's a lot of food, but that just also means that I don't have to buy any food. And I, like today, came home with an, an entire meal and extra stuff. So when I got home, I just sat down and had dinner. So I don't actually, I don't mind bringing that much food with me. It's better than having to be hungry and buying food out. This way I have plenty of food and I don't need to buy anything out. Um... And I haven't really done, like, I'm actual. this is the first time that I'm actually using everything that I have. Because normally, I just keep buying more and more and more. And I, I definitely think that in the next month, I'm going to have a lot more money left over. Because I really do have, a fo like, a formula. And instead of, like, I know I was saying before that I really like eating platters. This is kind of like a platter because... I open the fridge and if I have some pickles, that's what I did. I had some pickles, like a slice of pickles for today's lunch. So I put pickles and feta cubes and um, a baby bell um, and some crackers and some salami slices. So I'm just basically emptying what's in the fridge and just making a lunch. And then, um, so yeah, so today I had chicken burgers. And then for tomorrow, I um, opened two cans of tuna. And just mix it with mayo. It's honestly flavorful enough. Like I don't need any pepper or more salt or I don't know what you what do you put in a tuna salad. I should look it up. Um, but it's totally it's like tasty enough. I could eat the whole thing like that. So I'm gonna put half a cup of the tuna between two uh, slices of bread. But I don't. I'm not gonna make that now because it'll turn disgusting. So tomorrow morning I because I only have like but that's enough anyway. Like I don't need to eat like so much bread because I already eat my uh peanut butter sandwich in the morning so then i just i was gonna make um tuna sandwiches tomorrow so then i will put um half in each and then um or maybe three pieces in each or something because it's supposed to still be a cup of food so i'm assuming that the bread is the red the other half of the cup and then the half a cup of tuna so i'll see how i'll see what half a cup of tuna looks on a sandwich if it's too little or too, or whatever or maybe i'll put a whole cup because i'm having i'm not having the whole thing so maybe i'll put a whole cup i'll figure it out tomorrow morning i'll let you guys know how it goes tomorrow evening um so uh yeah and then yeah so crack i put some crackers and some salami slices and everything so like i said i bring so and then also i make a coffee like this is like my coffee cup so i have that um and then i had another coffee today which is kind of unnecessary and i hope it's not going to keep me up tonight i'm super tired so i really hope it doesn't keep me up and then right this is actually a tea latte um so yes that's basically what i've had and then my classmate offered me a few fries today and then i had a sip of her frappuccino soup. She's so lucky she can have frappuccinos. I'm like, yeah, right. I wouldn't. I could never have a fucking frappuccino, um, unless it's like all, all I ate in that day or something. But um, yeah. So that's really working out well for me. Working out. I worked out uh, for half an hour this morning. I did a video. Um, I find f more than half an hour just like in the morning. I'm so exhausted. And I'm sitting here like. You know, doing that. I'm in this little room here right now until I, you know, I fix my gym. Sorry, I'm shaking the whole computer on the table. Um, yeah. So what else with hair? Um, today I, uh, so I had a client and I've dealt with so many clients, but I still like kind of get nervous for like the first one, which is ridiculous because I know what I'm doing. So um, basically the client arrives at the school 
downstairs and then the receptionist calls us and then our name gets called and they say your client's here so then we have to go downstairs and pick up our client and pick up like um like a release form thingy and then so then we go back to the elevator and it's so awkward because i don't know this person at all and then um so it just makes some small talk in the elevator and then we went upstairs and then i sit them down and take their jacket and then so my client had very 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 fine very curly hair uh colored hair like a like a purpley red um with pretty intense roots she had all this fluff stuck in her hair so she did obviously didn't take a lot of care of herself um and of course the haircut is cheap right going to the school so um and then i asked her if she had been there before and then she said she had I asked her when her last haircut was. She said a year ago. So I was like, oh my goodness. So I took a look at her hair and it was just so, so, so fine. Um, and just wispy at the bottom. So I asked her how much you want me to take off. And then she said, however much you think. I didn't take off that much because I just thought her hair looked a little sad. And I just didn't want to like then chop it off. It was up to me. I would have taken off this much. But that's a little intense for people. So I just cleaned up the bottom. Um, so I did a, a solid form, which is basically you take the bottom off. And then I cut some layers in it. Um, and then by the time I got to the side of her head, it was so thin. And I, I basically called my teacher over and I was like, I, what should I do with the side? Because it's so fine. And then I basically told him, like, I don't want to cut anything off. So I just brought it all up here and cut some layers in it. So I took, I took basically like some some parts i took this much off some parts i took like this much off so the, the bottom was like this much the top was like because i gave her shapes her you know when you don't cut your hair for so long like it, it loses its shape completely so um and then because the hair was curly i asked her if she wanted me to like she scrunched it i scrunched it when it was wet and it had like really nice curl like it her hair is very curly um and then i I uh, asked her if she wanted me to use a diffuser. So then uh, if anyone doesn't know what a diffuser is, it's like this like a big hand thing with these plastic things on it. And you basically put it underneath curl and then you switch the blow dryer between hot and cold because you don't burn someone's head. Although I had it on medium setting, so I wasn't going to burn her head anyway. But um, so it basically dries the hair curly. So you kind of go like this, but then I don't, they don't have to do that. If I would do it myself, I would do that. But I just kind of lift up the hair and put the diffuser on. So her hair was really, really, really curly. Um, and uh, I think she was happy with it. It looked good. It looked much better. It had shape. Like I took all the dead ends off and stuff. So um, my poor classmate had... Uh, this was her first client, her first consultation, everything. So um, our our teacher, who is a man, he uh, walks around the floor too. And then there's a woman teacher um, who has this tiny little dog. Like, it's this big. And she wasn't very nice. Like, uh, because both of them can sign off our work. So before that, um, my classmate and I we did a uh, a blow dry and then we did some braids because we have basically a list of stuff we need to get done um every week so it doesn't you don't have to do it says day one day two day three but you don't have to do every you don't you can do whatever just as long as you mark it off so at the bottom of the list you need to have at least 250 points I got like five tens and a 9.5 so those are really good marks um which I always do anyway. And then I work so fast too. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So then the teacher, as soon as my classmates model walked in, which was like an older lady with like, kind of like a bob. And I was like, oh, I wish I had that one. Like, I wish we traded clients. Really. I would have had so much fun. And then exactly like, so she was sitting there. She didn't really know what to do. And like, she asked her, so I, she asked me like, what? And I'm like, well, just ask her like, uh, if she likes her haircut, when was the last time she had a cut? Did she come here? Does she like her hair? You know, what does she want? Like, so uh, she kind of did a consultation, and then I, um, she of course they don't really know how to explain it to to 
you know, like they say, oh, a bit off here or whatever. So then um, I came over to help her because we, the thing is we were in a corner super smushed. Like the girl, basically, we set, put her stuff down. She sat on this side. When we came back, another girl had put all her crap on that side. And then uh, we were so squished in the corner. She's like, oh, I didn't know anybody was here. And I'm like, well, did you not see my stuff? And then anyway, so... Then we so we, you're working in a really squished kind of and you have all your stuff out and then you have your own personal stuff and you're trying not to be all super messy and stuff. So um anyway, uh we didn't have a lot of rooms. We're in each other's faces. I'm basically working here and then she is like where my water bottle is here. That's basically where she is working on her client. So I just kinda uh, said okay so what do you want to do so I also on my phone because my teacher sends all of the the drawings of the haircuts because it, it's all like heads and like printed papers with heads and then you draw out the haircut um you always have to draw out the haircut that base it's kind of like making a plan of what you're going to be doing so uh, I showed her the drawings and then we and then she basically said I'm like oh so you want a graduation oh I love cutting graduations like I wish that was my model right um but that's the thing. You never know what you're going to get when it comes to models. They basically say, oh, it's a woman. It could be anything. Literally anything. <laughs> anything you can picture can arrive at your old, young, tons of hair, no hair, black, Asian, white, whatever. It can, no, Anything can show up, especially in Vancouver. So I was just like, oh, I wonder what it's going to be. Pfft, forget about it. No, no point in even guessing what, what it's going to be, right? So... I mean, I was secretly hoping for a bob. Like, I was like, oh, that would be awesome. And then she gets the bob. But it's fine. Because it was a good learning curve for her. But it would have been fun for me. Um, So once she kind of figured out the plan, then we had to get our teacher, who conveniently <laughs> at that time went on his break or something. So then I had to ask the other teacher. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, could you help her with her consultation? It's her. And she's like, who taught you? Who, who taught you um, level one? And I'm like my teacher taught me and then she was like oh how come you don't know how to do i'm like it's her first time i said i know how to do a consultation she doesn't like she needs help so then she went there and like oh okay so that's what you want to do okay so don't worry about the front just work on the side and like she didn't really give her any sort of plan and everything but then by the time she had shampooed her set her up uh, i mean obviously put a cape on shampooed her set her up my client arrived so then i had to go down to get my client so then I I couldn't really help her, obviously. But there's been so many things, like even like holding the scissors and stuff like that. There's been so many like things that I, from experience, have told her how to, to do. Because my, the teacher doesn't, they don't really pay attention to that. Like when you cut hair, you do it in a, this kind of motion. I don't know if I've, I feel like I've said this already on, on the, whatever. If I've said this already, whatever. So, um, you know, it's like when you watch hairstylists cut hair that's how they cut hair like it's something that comes even if nobody shows you how to do it it comes with experience nobody showed me to cut like that but I naturally cut like that so um it'll save her a lifetime of trouble if she could just already be like okay that's how you cut hair you don't go no 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 you go no like that that's how you cut hair so um same with like the curling iron today I showed her how to how to kind of you know, put around, but that's, you know, again, that's how I do it. doesn't mean that that's the right way. I get good results with the way I work, but it's because I've been doing it since my early 20s. So, um, but, but still there's been a, a few things. I was like, Oh, that's so much better. And it's like, that's how I've been doing it for so long. So even the, just cause you've been doing something for a very, very long time, a specific way, doesn't mean that it's the best way to do it. But anyway, so I finished my haircut in like half an hour. It took her two hours. There was a girl next to me with an, uh, let's say, Korean guy. I would say Korean. I don't think he was Chinese. I think he was Korean. Um, and he, she, so when we walked in, she was doing his haircut. So it was like a fade and then a cut. And then he had like long on top. So it took her a really long time to, to cut this part, which in the end, it looked pretty good. And then... Um, I'm gonna that's why I'm gonna say Korean because I because I think they curled anyway he got a perm so he got the top permed and I think he was there for six hours not even kidding six hours 
I would have done that. <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't, I've like put in perms, but I've never actually, and, and I've helped stylists like take out perms. I actually really fucked up like two years ago at the salon um, when uh, one of the senior stylists had a perm in and she asked me to help her and I completely started doing the wrong thing. But I did help her fix, I, fi I helped her fix my mistake really quickly and it was all fine in the end. But, um, so I've never actually done the perm, like I've applied the solution and I've, with the, with, uh-oh, well, that is, weird. okay, uh, with the cotton underneath and then the basket around the neck, I don't know if anyone has ever seen the perms applied, and the first time I smelled a perm, because it smells like fart, it smells like rotten eggs and fart, and I honestly was like, oh my god, someone had an accident like it was so gross and strong now i'm like a oh, sperm i know because i know what it smells like now but it was the first time i was like wow someone just shot themselves so anyway um yeah so that girl took her six hours my classmate took two hours i took probably half an hour to do the cut shampoo the consultation shampoo styling and then say bye to my client right so then on my way to my break, the other one, the grumpy uh, teacher, she's not that grumpy, but she's she just, I don't know. I don't know what it is with women. Like, it's like all the women are mean. And then the men are nice. Like, I've, I've, only, I've only dealt with nice men at that school. And I've dealt with quite a few bitchy women. I don't know what the problem is. Like, why they have to be like, oh, it's like, come on, just be nice and do your job and help people. Like, you're supposed to help people. You're not sitting there. Why are you sitting there judging another class's, like, consult? Like, she's 19 years old. She's never done a consultation. She's obviously very nervous. And, um, yeah. So, but the thing is, that's why I prefer to go to my own teacher to mark my work. Because he knows us. And he knows her. And, and I, I just really, but he was just running around. And he was busy, too, with helping it, everyone. Because there was such, lots of stuff going on. Like, colors and blow dries and perms and, and highlights and everything. There was everything going on. Because, like, everyone is... Um, well, that's weird. I've never seen that before. It's like asking me if I was still watching the video. Hmm, whatever. So, yeah, I just wish that he would help her out a little bit more because she just kind of stood there and she was, like, really nervous and everything. But, um... And then I, I, after my haircut, I was hungry and tired. So I went for lunch. So I couldn't see, like, how she finished the work. So I was like, oh, I didn't get to see your... And she's like, yeah, I was going to ask for it before and after. I'm like, I never do too. Like, I'm always scared. Like, I don't know why. Like, I've done some amazing haircuts. And I'm like, damn it. I wish I had a before and after. Like, yeah, like, last beginning of last year, I caught a really good graduated bob. And I didn't take a photo of it. But now I'm even, like, I think I would cut it even better. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's, I guess, I, I will wrap up the hair stuff a little bit. But um, that's how my day was. So, anyway, the rest of the week I'll be still in salon. But the thing is, they switch us back and forth. So, like, who knows where we're going to be tomorrow. Like, today I thought we were going to be in, in one of the buildings. But we were in the other building. And tomorrow we're going to be in the other building. So it's just like every day, like, we're just dragging my stuff around, which really sucks. So, but it's fine. Whatever it is, what it is. Um, yeah, and then the next part will be men's cuts. It's like level 1B or something will be men's cuts, which will be easy for me again. Um, and then after that is color, which is also going to be easy for me. But, I mean, refreshing the color theory is going to be really good. I'm excited about that. I mean, I know a lot of it, but it just, like, it would be good to refresh it a little bit again. And I just want to know it once and for all, and I just, like, never, ever, ever want to forget it or doubt myself. Because I have doubted myself so many times, but I have good instincts when it comes to color. And I have basically, like, worked a salon to where I ran out of a specific color, and I was like, oh, shit. And I mixed the exact color out of other colors. So I have good instincts when it comes to color, but I just need to have a bit more confidence. Um, so yeah, this, this part of the, the salon part is my favorite because you do get to ask for help. Like you deal with real clients, but you get to ask for help. So it's kind of boosts your confidence because you obviously come up with a plan and then 
tell them the plan and then they kind of tweak it and you often even if you're like they're so busy like you just do what you think is is right and if it works i mean not with color obviously yeah even with color i mean how wrong can it go like i don't think i could really fuck it up that bad so anyway this is fun um and then yeah after color i'm not sure we'll be doing a salon for a couple of weeks where we get to color and stuff and bring in models and then um so level sorry what's like level one was cutting and styling one b is men's cuts level two is color level three i think is perming level four was something else and level five is makeup yes i'm excited so yeah but i'll be doing lots of makeup because if i do the makeup program afterwards then that'll be amazing and uh yeah guys i want to open a salon that that is the main goal of all of this is to open a salon which my partner says yes that's gonna be happening and i just um, I will be filming there too, because why not? Um, yeah, that would be awesome. Even just to see like how everything's going to come together and like how, you know, how we're going to, what we're going to name it and everything. It'll be awesome. So anyway, 26 minutes of rambling. Um, but I did talk about hair. So that actually is good because I kept my little plan thingy. Tomorrow will be jewelry. All right. Like maybe I'll, I can just like, maybe I can finish the bracelets or something i can show you guys how um these ones the ones i'm working on where did they go hmm. where did they go this these ones i could finish these ones Isn't they're pretty i love these beads they're so pretty so yeah one side is like this let me see if you guys can see so i glued it in place so i just have to do the other side and put on a clasp this tiny bracelet is my sister's wrist, so um, obviously not mine. <laughs> Doesn't even close. Like, look at that. My monster wrists. Anyway, so yeah, I guess I'll do jewelry tomorrow, and then Thursday will be story time. I have to think of some random story. Friday, movie book review. Um... I have been watching Vikings with my partner. I can talk about Vikings. Or, uh, oh, oh, maybe I will talk about this this channel that I subscribed to recently and that I found extremely interesting. So maybe I'll talk about that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll just talk about what I've watched this week. I've watched a few interesting things. I watched an interesting Joe Rogan interview. Um, and then just more, some more carnivore, vegan, blah, blah, blahs, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too interested in that stuff anymore. Like, it just bothers me with what conviction people, you know, talk about being right and they don't know shit and your, your views change and this like whole, like even Bart K, I, I listen to Bart K sometimes, I actually was just listening to him and just like. That's not proven. There's no science. This isn't proven. That's not proven. It's like, but don't eat plants. Like, it's like, dude, like, I don't know. Seems a little crazy to me. But anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about those things. Anyway, just hair, I guess. This hair was today. Today was hair. Today was a day about hair. Hair is awesome. Hair is creative. Hair is life for me. Um, yeah. Don't know what else really. Um, probably going to be doing my sister's hair pretty soon. She's some grown out roots and she could use a haircut. Where'd it go? We just cut your hair today. And I was like, I haven't cut her hair since last June. So that's not recent at all. That's insanely not recent. So I need to cut her hair and then just bring in some more models. And I asked my uh, younger sister, not that sister, if she wants to be my model for them, for my uh end of the year exam and i'm probably gonna dress her up as zelda and like do her makeup and her hair and everything and i'm gonna have to figure out a costume but she's like she doesn't want to be zelda but i want her to be zelda because she'd make an excellent zelda but she doesn't really she doesn't really get to choose it's my it's my project so she's gonna be whatever the fuck i want her to be although she's so like wanting to she's gonna want to have input but then i'm gonna have to ask somebody else because i'm pretty set on zelda so i'm a nerd i love zelda anyway 
thank you for watching this uh hair story time thing how my day was um i uh yeah i think i'm talked out right now <laughs> okay so anyway yeah if you like this video please uh press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you want and i will see you guys tomorrow bye for now